Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. So anyone who follows me on Instagram probably already knows this, but last weekend I went to New Orleans for the very first time. It was so much fun. I ate a lot of food and I bought a lot of books. Well, not a lot. I bought four books, which to me doesn't feel like a lot, but to other people might be a lot since I was only there for like four days. Anyways. <laughs> Um, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Since I went to New Orleans, I thought that I would talk about some books that are set in New Orleans. And, you know, you might not be traveling to New Orleans anytime soon, but Mardi Gras is coming up. And I think that New Orleans in and of itself is a really great city. It's one of those cities that has its own personality. It is definitely different from anywhere else that I've ever been before. And I think that when there are books and stories set in New Orleans specifically, the setting very much does play a part in the rest of the book and things like that. So obviously this is not going to be a comprehensive list by any means. So feel free to leave any comments down below with your favorite New Orleans based books and stories. So one thing I did when I was on my trip in New Orleans is my friends and I did a walking tour and we did a walking tour through the Garden District of New Orleans, which is a more residential area. There are walking tours through multiple parts of the city and you can do like cemetery tours and things like that. Uh, we decided to do the Garden District just because I thought it looked kind of cool. I didn't want to do like the French district and things like that because that is like the slightly more touristy parts. Like I am someone who enjoys going into the neighborhoods of the different cities that I visit uh, to get a different sort of feel. Since it's a more residential area, one of the things that I didn't realize until we were on the tour is that the Garden District has a lot of like celebrity houses in them. So we passed by Sandra Bullock's house. We passed by John Goodman's house, which is like a very weird thing personally like I've never done house tours in LA or anything like that like I think it's it's just very weird to me that like I was literally standing in like Sandra Bullock's front yard or basically I mean there's a fence but like you're right there anyways this is a roundabout way of me getting to the point that one of the houses that was pointed out on the tour was Anne Rice's house or a former house of Anne Rice she's owned multiple properties throughout New Orleans the one that we happened to pass by on the walking tour that I took was like I think the last one that she owned or something along those lines and they actually talked about Anne Rice quite a bit on the specific walking tour that I was on in the Garden District there is a bookshop and there is a lot of Anne Rice books in that specific bookshop so Anne Rice is a very prominent and well-known author in the area not just like for being an author but she's very like involved in the community and things like that so if you are someone who likes fantasy and you've never tried Anne Rice before, obviously Interview with a Vampire is where to start. Um, and then you can go and check out baby Brad Pitt in the adaptation. <laughs> I mean, he's not a baby, but you know, he looks like a baby compared to Brad Pitt today. And another one that's kind of an obvious one, so I'll just mention it really quickly here, is A Street Car Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. If you haven't read this play before or seen this play before, this is you know, an amazing play. It's an American classic for a reason. And this is another one that if you read the play, then you can go check out an adaptation of it. All right. One of my like all time favorite books or favorite mystery books, at least, is The Cutting Season by Etta Locke. This one doesn't take place in New Orleans specifically, but it takes place on a plantation in Louisiana. The city or town that this book is supposed to take place in is actually between New Orleans and Baton Rouge. So in this story, you are following this character named Karen Gray, who is the manager of this plantation. And obviously it's taking place in modern day, so it's not a plantation anymore. It's mainly used for like tours or like people will host events there, things like that. And one day one of the workers from the plant who currently works on the plantation is found dead on the front lawn and the worker herself was a migrant worker and so there's a lot of controversy going on in the area surrounding migrant workers and so the police obviously begin investigating the murder and as the investigation continues, Karen starts to become concerned that the police are focusing on the wrong pieces of evidence or going down a path that isn't going to lead to the correct uh, murderer. So she begins to look into it herself as well. So Etta Kalak, I'm a big fan of hers. I talk about her all the time. So if you are like new to my videos or the Red or Dead podcast or anything like that, I really, really love Etta Kalak. And this was actually the first book from her that I ever read and I honestly think it's a fantastic starting point. This one I think is still my favorite. Her latest one, Bluebird Bluebird, 
is up there for me uh, but this one is so good and one of the reasons why I loved it so much is because I found the setting to be so atmospheric. Like I said in the beginning of this video books set in Louisiana are able to take on the personality of that area and that region really really well and I think that Attica Lock does a really good job of doing that in the cutting season. So if you are looking for a really good atmospheric mystery set in Louisiana, the cutting season is a great one. Another great book that is set in New Orleans is A Kind of Freedom by Margaret Wilkerson Sexton. This is a book that came out I think in 2017 and I feel like it really flew under the radar but it's a really good multi-generational novel. The story starts off following this woman named Evelyn who is a Creole woman living in New Orleans and it starts off I think right after World War II or right around that time period and then it also follows Evelyn's daughter Jackie and then Jackie's son TC. It does a really great job of looking at things like the Jim Crow era and the impacts of racial inequality and how things have and haven't changed in a lot of major cities, impact of family and family choices. I feel like if you are someone who read the book Homegoing by Yeah Jesse when that one came out, uh, this is like similar it's not exactly the same but it has like similar ideas and themes in terms of like families and generations and the impacts of one generation on future generations and things like that. Um, obviously this one is only going through th three generations but I think that it does a really great job of looking at family and family life and growing up as a black person in the south and specifically in New Orleans. All right and the final book that I have is one that I haven't read yet but I now have on my list because I want to read more books set in New Orleans and that is Out of the Easy by Ruta Sepides. This one is a historical fiction book. It's set in the 1950s in New Orleans and you are following this 17 year old girl named Josie who is the daughter of a brothel prostitute. Josie has dreams of leaving New Orleans behind and going off to college in Massachusetts where no one will know that she is the daughter of a prostitute. She works part-time as a bookseller and one day a man who showed up at her bookstore ends up dead and so she gets wrapped up in this investigation. This is a book I've heard really really good things about from a lot of different people who I know who have read it. Um, so if you are someone who enjoys historical fiction and again I've heard that this one really does evoke a good sense of the New Orleans feel. So this one would be a really great one to pick up if you want to read a book set in New Orleans. So that is everything I have in this video. Like I said before, leave a comment down below letting me know if you've read any books set in New Orleans that you've really enjoyed because I would love to pick up more of them after visiting the city and hopefully I will be going back soon because again I loved it so much. So yeah that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys again next week. Bye!